channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series and can you guess what we're talking about today? That's right, today we're talking about the pitch effect here in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. So you can make your voice sound kind of like this, like a chipmunk, or... You want to change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating, you want to disguise a voice a little bit more, drop it down, and you can do something that sounds a little bit like this. So we're going to be jumping into DaVinci Resolve today. I'm going to show you the effect. We're going to run over the window, and then I'm going to give you an example or two so you can see how it works. And it's a fun little effect to play with. So without further ado, let's jump over into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. So as always, if you got a good pair of headphones, use them, although you're going to hear the effect just fine. But hey, I always like to use some good headphones with some audio. All right, let's get into it here. So we are in DaVinci Resolve here, and right now I'm in the Edit tab, and I have the intro that you just saw up on my screen. Now, I've broken out the parts of the clip that I want to make the different uh, pitches into three different tracks. So you do have the option to apply the effect on an entire track, or you can apply it to a specific clip. So real quickly, before we jump into Fairlight, to apply it to just a clip, right now I'm in the edit page here, and I want to come over and open my effects library. So click right here if you don't have it open. And then you want to come down in your toolbox here to Fairlight Effects. And then over here you have Pitch. So you can just click on here, drag it over, and drop it on any clip that you want. Now this is going to affect just the clip, not the entire track. So if you just have one little clip, like uh, in my intro here that you saw, that little section, we can just apply it there. But I'm also going to show you how to do it on a track level, uh, just because that's the way I might use it in uh, Fairlight over here. So you've got the option to do it whatever way you want to do it. So you can see here in Resolve, it brings up the effect window, which we're going to go over in a second. I just wanted to show you how you can add it onto a clip here in the Edit tab. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and close this out and undo this, and then we're going to jump over into the Fairlight tab. So to get over into the Fairlight tab, if you're not sure, you come on over here, click on these little musical icons down here. That's going to bring you into the Fairlight tab. So as you can see, we have our different parts of the clip in different tracks. The first track is going to be my uh, normal voice at the end of that intro. The second one here is going to be the high-pitched voice, and the third one here is going to be my low-pitched voice. So let's get into adding the effect on the track. So first thing we need to do is open up our mixer. So I'm going to come on up to my mixer right here. I'm going to open that up by clicking this icon right here. It should open up your mixer here. And then what you want to do is find the track that you want to add the effect to. In this case, I'm going to start with track number two, the high pitched. So I'm going to come up here and under effects right here, I'm going to go ahead and click the plus. Now, if you don't see effects here, come on over to these three little dots, click on there. You can come down and make sure that you have effects checked on. And if some of these other things are in the way, you can turn those off if you want. But once your effects is checked on, you should be able to come back here. And if you need to use your middle mouse wheel to scroll up and down through here, you should be able to do that to get to the different uh, clips. So sometimes they're hard to see. So that's how you can get to it. But once you see effects here, we're going to go ahead and click on the plus icon. And then we want to come on down to pitch. And right here we have pitch. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So let's run over the pitch window here real quick. And one of the things that's really cool is that you can change the pitch of your voice but you don't have to change the speed of your voice. So you know how sometimes you speed up the clip, right? So that your voice gets a little higher pitch or maybe you don't want it to, but it just happens that way. Well, here you don't have to speed up or slow down the clip. You can actually just change the pitch using this effect. So let's check this out. Let's run over the window here. So starting at the top, we've got our reset button. We've got our lock plugin window and preset manager. Next line down, we've got a way that we can add in a preset. Let's say you get a set, bunch of settings you like. You can go ahead and save that as a preset. Right here where it says default, you're going to see your saved presets. These two buttons allow you to cycle through your presets. Next, we have the A and B button, and we do have a video on that. So click above. You can go check out how the A and the B work. Basically, you can have two different settings, so you can try things back and forth and see what you like better. Moving down, you have pitch with a red button here, and that's going to turn the effect on and off. So down in the next section here, we have our pitch adjustments. And the first item we have here is semitones. So what is semitones? So in the music world, a semitone is a half step change in pitch. So if you got a B flat, it goes to a B, right? Half step. So you don't need to know all that to do this and get all this squared away, but it's good to know how much you're changing. So that first semitones dial there is a coarse adjustment. It's going to give you a larger change as you crank that dial around. You're going to see that in our example here. And that semitones knob there allows you to change the pitch up to 12 semitones or 12 half steps in either direction of wherever your pitch currently is. So making it uh, higher pitched or lower pitched based on which way you turn that knob. 
So next here we have the sense and the sense is just like a super fine adjustment and it's going to adjust it in a hundredths of a semitone. So a much finer adjustment to really fine tune how you want that to sound. So you're going to use the course adjustment. Then you can use the fine tuning adjustment here with the sense knob. And you're going to see how that works also here in a second. And lastly, we have the wet dry mix and that's how much of the effect is being applied to our track or your clip depends whether you're doing a clip or a track, but how much of the effect is being applied to that clip or track. And lastly, we have our output meter here. So let's get started here, making our one audio track high pitched. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and select my range here. So I'm going to select this little guy and I'm going to loop this so that we can just have it play over and over again. I'm going to hit my little loop button right here. Make sure my pitch is turned on and now I'm going to play through it. And when we look at the semitones here, which is our course adjustment, as I drag it to the left, that's going to make the voice deeper. And as I drag it to the right, that's going to make the voice more high pitched. So let's go ahead and play through it and we can listen to how it sounds as we make some adjustments here. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series. And can you guess what we're talking about today? That's right. Today we're talking about the pitch effect here in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. So you can make your voice sound. So you can see the course adjustment does a good job of changing that really quick, right? So now let's uh, just leave it where it is. We're at eight and let's go in and change the sense one and see if we notice a difference there with that. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series. And can you guess what we're talking about today? That's right. Today we're talking about. So I noticed with the sense here, it's a lot harder to hear any difference, right? I'm actually, maybe let's try turning off the semitones and just see if we can hear just the difference using the sense one. So jumping back here, I'm gonna double click on the knob because that always resets everything. And I'm just gonna play with the sense one here as we play through the clip. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series. And can you guess what we're talking about today? That's right, today we're talking about the Okay, so you could hear a difference there for sure when we just use the sense. The adjustment's a lot smaller. Maybe uh, somebody's voice is too high pitch. You want to just uh, add a little low end in there or whatever, and you want to do it this way with pitch, that's going to work and you can do that. So that's kind of cool that it works out. So now let's just dial this in, get a uh, setting that we like, and go with that for the high pitch voice. And then we're going to move on to the low pitch voice on another channel here. So I'm just going to go ahead and loop this through and pick something that I like. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series and can you... All right, so I like that at the eight. So now we're gonna adjust this wet dry mix. Now this can get kind of cool the way that it sounds. So if you're looking to try and get like an alien kind of voice, this is one way that you can do it by adjusting the wet dry mix after you've used those semitones to raise the pitch of the voice. So let's take a look at this real quick. I'm gonna loop through it and I'm gonna drop the wet dry mix down as the clip plays and listen to how this sounds. Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're moving ahead in our audio effects series and can you guess what we're talking about today? That's right. Today we're talking about the pitch effect here in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. So you can make your voice sound kind of like... So pretty cool, right? You can hear that it has a little bit of the original voice in there, my original voice, and then it's adding in a percentage. So we're at, it looks like almost 50% uh, of the effect on top of that. So it kind of gives that alien kind of voice, which is pretty cool. So that's how I would set up the effect for the high pitch voice. Now let's move on to the low pitch voice. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Uh, let's go ahead to our other track here. So track three, I'm gonna go ahead to my effects. I'm gonna click on the plus, come on down to pitch, and we're gonna go ahead and add in pitch again. Now again, same window, so we don't need to run over this again. I'm just gonna select a new range here of just my low pitch clip. So now we're gonna play through that and just uh, adjust it until I think it sounds cool. You wanna change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating. You wanna disguise a voice a little bit more, drop it down, and you can do something that sounds a little bit like this. You wanna change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating. You wanna disguise a voice a little bit more. So I think that sounds pretty cool right there, right? Sounds, uh, you know, a little creepy, a little like, who's that? What's going on there in the darkness, right? Now let's adjust the wet dry mix so you can see how that kind of changes it up a little bit. And I think this sounds just as cool as the other one did. So let's go ahead and play through and I'm gonna drop the wet dry mix. You wanna change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating. You wanna disguise a voice a little bit more, drop it down, and you can do something that sounds a little bit like this. You wanna change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating. You wanna disguise a voice a little bit more. You wanna change it up a little bit and get a little more intimidating. You wanna disguise a voice a little bit more. Drop it down, and you can do something that sounds a little bit like this. 
So there you go. That's adjusting the wet dry mix there on the lower pitched voice. Now, if you're trying to disguise the voice, obviously you don't want to go too low on that wet dry mix because then you're going to be able to tell who it is or get a better idea of what the original voice sounds like. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, give the video a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this audio series. Hit the bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace! Luke, I am your father.